Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this? So it's time to take a peek into Lee Chan Yuk's new album. It's called Error. I gotta say, this album cover looks really cool. My guy needs to hit Control Alt Delete or something. I don't know what's going on. Looks like know. he's standing on a lightning bolt. Yeah. Like, is, is the road melting? <laughs> All right. You know, I'm. Because he's stepping on it. I'm worried for my guy. You know. The heat. So I feel like uh, this album has got to be pretty deep. You know, it's called Error. I feel like there's got to be some sort of message here, something that we're gonna learn about Chan Yuk. Um, I've been told that this album is a story, which makes sense. If you look at the track list, it looks like it would be a story because you have Eyewitness Account, then Siren, then Panorama, which is the title track, mind you, which if this is a story, it makes more sense as to why Panorama would be the third track, since usually title tracks are the first track on the album. Panorama is also about how Chang Yuk's life flashed before his eyes. In the video, Chang Yuk is hit by a car while he's walking. So I wonder if that story is inside of this album or something. And then the last track on the album is called Funeral Hope. So that's another reason as to why I think someone's dying. I also like how Chang Yuk is flexing. You know, he had to flex that he's a producer over here on the <laughs> keyboard. I love that. Shout out to Millennium and Si Wong. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. Super hype for this album. I just feel like it's gonna be great. Millennium is a great producer. You know Chan Yuk is an amazing producer as well. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of synths throughout this album. Before we hop into this, we gotta shout out the gang or the family or the crew or the critiquer. Click, 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 click. All right, it's time to see what eyewitness accounts about <laughs> get it because seeing like out your eyes eyewitness account <laughs> all right that's stuff <laughs> What is happening? Yo, this is some heat. Yo, this is pure flames, bro. What is Whoa. happening right now? Was it like a siren? Yo, that is tough. What is that like? A distorted guitar? Ooh. He is gliding on this. Oh my god, oh my god, what is this? Ooh. Ooh. 
That siren is tough. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. What what is this album going to have in store for us? Dude, what did I just hear? That was so tough. Yo. Oh. He was just gliding just like moonwalking on this beat, man. Just what what that, that sounded like I was at like a, a a robot rave. Yeah. Or something. Like the auto tune on his voice. Robot club. Yeah, like, you know, Bender's up in there just like Yeah, this is Bender's uh go to <laughs> get lit track right here. He just be like <laughs> Yo, I love that melody. I love this production. This is creative the as production hell. Production was so cool. I was not expecting something this like aggressive. You know, I didn't expect this heat. Mm -hmm. Man, this is this is fire. I mean the floor is melting. I mean the, the road is melting, so I was expecting some like angelic vocals or something to open it up. Like I'm gonna count I thought that was gonna be like sad or something. Right. No. As soon as it comes on, you're just like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. It's dude. A, it's that kind of song. Yeah, this is that this is, is a my, banger. My kind of song. I love this song, dude. I'm playing this song as soon as I go to work. Like this is the first song I'm playing in the car. Um, <laughs> unless something else is better. We'll see. But there's definitely a story going along here, too, as well. I feel like there's a double entendre going on. Like, one meaning is, oh, um, you know, it's me. You know, I'm blowing up. You know, it's me on TV. Acme, it's him. I'm about to get all this fame and stuff from my solo album. And, you know, oh, it's him. You know, call the police. You know, what's he going to do? You know, what's he going to do for a solo album? You know, there was a loud noise and there was a buzz. Basically saying, like, there's going to be buzz around my album. But at the same time, there's a story going along here. So, like, I feel like just like in Panorama. So, let's take the story from that music video. He got hit by a car. Right here, it says, actually, he was good at crossing the street with blue lights. It's already happened. What's he going to do? I checked it carefully. Acme, it's him. TV. Ooh. So, maybe in the story here, he was hit by this car, and he's on TV, right? Like, they're covering that Chan Yuk just got hit by a car on TV. I think that was in the Panorama video as well. So there's like a double entendre here going on. So it's like, you know, call 911, uh, Chan Yuk was hit by a car, but it's also like call 911 because this album is heat <laughs> and it's about to blow up. Wow. <laughs> and the eyewitness account is like, us, you know, we're, we're the eyewitness account, you know, listening to this album and seeing how great it is. But also, this is out of the perspective of someone having an eyewitness account about him getting hit. You know what I mean? So, it's genius. <laughs> Double entendre is so cool. Damn. A flex, but also a story. All right. Yep. That was heat, man. That distorted guitar, everything about it. My God. Flames. This next track is called Siren by Staff. Gotta have a siren in it. Ooh, this production. <laughs> Ooh, it drums. I 
I love those synths. Jones. Sounds different. I love that. Ha! Huh? Mmm, synths. Ooh, is this Journey? Ooh. <laughs> All those synths make me think of Journey. <laughs> yeah! So cool. Oh, uh. the production. the hook Different. the hook the hook kind of gives me like weekend vibes you know with them vocals and the and the synths going on but you know chen yuk's way more than just a weekend comparison you know i'm just i just think about the weekend sometimes because that's like the only person i can really compare him to breathe man come to your senses we're almost there just hang on a little longer open your eyes man you can see it's me right we're almost there let's hold hands like this Push everything that's not in the way, Mr. Please, it can't be like this. Wang Wang Siren Ranks, it's dangerous. Wang Wang Siren Ranks, it can't be like this. So this is him like dying. I was gonna say, is this him like in the ambulance? Yeah, this is him like telling him like, don't ambulance. fall asleep because you're gonna die. Yeah, if you fall asleep, you're gonna die, yeah. Don't fall asleep, man, come to your senses. Like, breathe. It's not a different day from yesterday, but the peaceful road is unfair, and my head is going to explode at the sound of the siren. Ignore all the bumps, man. Just step on the accelerator. Wang Wang side rings the dangerous. Wow. So yeah, it's about being in the ambulance. But the other interpretation of the song is that the song is motivational. You know, ignore all the bumps, man. Just step on the accelerator. That'll tell you it right there. You know, come to your senses. Hold on. Like, hold on. Be resilient. You know, push through all these problems. You know, it's, it's a dangerous world. Like, the world is unfair. But like, just keep going. Ignore all the bumps. I love that. Yeah. So the hook is like side rings, like it's dangerous. Like the world is, the world yeah, is, is messed up. Yeah, it's intimidating. To put yourself out and, there. And, you know, you, you want to think like it can't be like this. Like, you know, the world can't be like this, but it is, you know? So he's saying like, you, you got to just. You can't fall asleep. You can't sleep on yourself. <laughs> yeah. Don't fall asleep, you know, live in the moment and, and keep doing what you want to do this kind of goes along with the existential crisis that chan yuk's having and panorama because you know he's saying like come to your senses like you got to live right now you got to live in the moment you got to you know work hard you got to do do what you need to do right now you know come to your senses now just like in panorama he's saying that he feels like he's dead you know like life is just moving past him so quickly so, you know, the difference between this song and that song is this song, he's saying, you know, I got to work hard and get through that. That song is more like melancholy, like, oh, like life has just went by, you know, what am I doing? So let's talk about Panorama real quick. We've already heard this song. We check out the music video. If you want to check out our reaction to that, you can check it out down below in the description. So connecting to the story, Panorama is when he wakes up in the hospital bed and realizes Oh, you know, I was just hit by a car. I could have died. Like, he's having an existential crisis. Like, I could have died. Like, I almost 
didn't do all these things. I'm really loving how this album has this story, but at the same time, every single song has a theme in its own. You know, it's not just storyline based. It's not just pure story and like the song means nothing other than it's a story. Each song means something. The next song is called Time Stop. Both with exclamation points. So it's really like letting you know, time, stop. 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 Let's stop. It's definitely inspired by the 80s. Yeah, very 80s. A lot of sense. Ooh. Getting disco. Mm. That funky bass. That synth bass. Ooh. 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 Synthesizer drums. So experimental, I love this. Yes. Those drums with the, the synths. Synth, yeah, the synthesizer drums and the synths. It was just Very 80s. really given. Really given 80s disco. Michael would be proud. <laughs> I, I'm loving the drums throughout this album. Yes. Really cool. Really, really cool, man. Pro the drums are Dutch. adding a lot, like the, the drum rolls. Yeah. Wow. And the um, vocals. The vocals, so good. So good, obviously. 
It's Chan Yuk. Every song is going to have good vocals. If we tell you, if we forget to tell you that it was good vocals. Like, just know that just know that's we knew in that. there. Yeah. yeah, we knew that. So again, I see another double entendre. Connecting to the story, this song, you can interpret it like he doesn't want to die. You know, just give me one last chance to live. God, what the hell did I do wrong? Like, what did I do wrong? Like, why are you killing me? Why, why am I going to die? I don't want to leave everything behind. Um, the faint sound of a heart, like he's dying. Mm -hmm. Right. But the other interpretation you can have here is about a relationship, because he says here, if I desperately close my eyes and wish for the time I wanted to go back to, will you be there? If I put my hands together and pray earnestly, will it change? So you can also interpret this as a sad, um, like breakup song, like a sad, like, you know, I want you back. What did I do wrong? Give me one last chance type of song. Um, he also ends it on, this is really sad, by the way. Will it change if I eagerly close my eyes and put my hands together and pray if someone wants me? That seems like he's talking about a relationship. Like, if I put my hands together and pray about you, like, will God give me you? Will you give me one last chance? This actually might be a triple entendre, though, because I also get this interpretation that he wants time to stop because he hasn't released enough music. And he's That's saying, like... Thinking. If I go back in time to a certain time when I should have released music, will you be there? Like, would, would my fans be there? If I pray that someone's going to love this album, if I pray that, you know, I'm going to gain a bunch of fans from this album or a bunch of fans in general, you know, will it happen? That's really sad, man. Damn. And my God, I mean, are you listening to this album? Does he not deserve it? Holy shit. This album is insane so far. Another sad song that's upbeat. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Another them. sad, upbeat, yep. Which is kind of genius because it turns your sadness upside down. Right. <laughs> right. So, like, you, you're, you like, emotionally venting through the lyrics. Yeah, but, but you're having a good time. The, the music's, like, yeah, Dancing to making it. you feel good. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I can it get through this. I can get through this. Right. I love this song. I love the production of the song. The sense. <sighs> My vibe. Love it, man. I'm really loving this album so far. So far, flawless. Yeah. Legit flawless. 